Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. Today we're doing a user request. I've got a lot of questions about the 5X scaling mode. I want to talk about how you achieve that, what the difference is, and whether or not you should use it. It's going to be on your own prerogative. Before we get too far involved, there, do me a huge favor. Go down below and hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, I've got a Patreon link down below as well. But some of the cores on Mr., not all of them, and I will leave a list in the description below as to what cores have the 5X mode enabled. You can do 5X scaling, which is going to fill more of your screen without the need for vertical interpolation. And it's a really nice benefit to have on Mr., and it isn't the most recent thing. I'm just getting around to making this, but you'll see here as I adjust that vertical crop, the 5X, that the bottom black part of the screen in Kirby here just goes away. Now you need certain settings to make this work. What I'm going to recommend is this Mr. INI generation file here, and this is going to be linked in the description below because this allows you to change every single setting and create a custom INI file. To start for 5X mode, you're going to need a 1080p at 60 hertz, but this is going to allow you to change so many different things on your Mr. INI file. You can build them in a web browser and then just drag and drop them onto your SD card. Now, fair warning, definitely back up your INI file on the SD card before you make too many changes because if you make a mistake, you want to have a backup. But this is going to allow us to change so many different settings on the Mister. And while the graphical user interface for the INI file on the Mister itself is not bad, and I'll show you how to use that in a little bit, I do prefer this web browser because it also explains things to you as you're using them. It doesn't do anything different than the Mister when you're dealing with the INI files, but it's just a little bit easier of a system to use. So you wanna make sure that all of the settings are correct to get to 5X, but if you're doing something like VGA and a 15 kilohertz core, you can force double that to 31 kilohertz to be able to make it compatible, like I showed you in the VGA analog video I did before, and I'll leave the link to that below as well. But you just need to make sure that certain settings are done. But if you screw up and turn the wrong things on, just go ahead and refresh the page and it'll reset to stock Mr. Settings. So if you're confused about what's going on, you can just refresh and you're right back to where you need to be. But you can change things like the color mode, you can separate the sync out for VGA, or you can do composite sync for more something like a PVM, you can force scale video over analog, a lot of settings that you may not need to deal with. But what you do need to make sure is that for 5x scaling you have the following settings, and I'll put them up on the screen. 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. You need to make sure the integer scaling is set to scale to fit the height of the screen or V scale mode equals zero. You also need to make sure V scale border equals zero. If you're at 1080p, if your V scale border zero, and if your V scale mode zero, you will have 5X enabled. You'll see here, I'm just playing around with things, kind of being a little bit funny. And those numbers will not be compatible with 5X and you will not be able to use it. So long as V scale mode and V scale border are both equal to zero, you'll be good to go at 1080p. But you can change things like the audio setting as well, audio volume control, and then some just miscellaneous settings if you so feel like dealing with them. This is, like I said, 99% of the time, you're not going to need to touch it. But when you do have the INI file built, you're at 1080p, 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Your scale to fit screen height and vertical border are both set as zero in the INI file. All you need to do is click download on mister.ini, and that will put the INI file you just created into your download folder that you can then copy over to your mister to get it ready and like I said these same settings can be achieved directly on the mister and I will show you in a little bit how to do that but just make sure you have these three things set go ahead and download mister.ini pop it on your mister and you'll have 5x mode enabled but moving back over to the direct screen captures we have to ask ourselves what is 5x mode and do we actually want to use it and what I found is the majority of the times it is extremely good there's a few instances in which I don't prefer it but this is a subjective thing this is going to be down to your preference. If we turn 5x mode off, you're going to see that that black bar comes back down in Kirby. It is slightly cutting off the top and bottom of the screen, but in something like Kirby where we have just white clouds with a little bit of shade of blue at the top, we're not missing any information and we're losing the black bar at the bottom of the screen. 5x mode is great when you're dealing with this particular game on the Super Nintendo and your mileage is going to vary whether or not you want to use 5x or not, but let's move over to something different, Super Castlevania 4 as well. And again, this is a situation where, at least at the top of the screen, there's not a lot of information. We have that heads-up display there. And note the 
box where your special item will go into. If we switch uh, off, there's a little bit more black space at the top, but if we turn on 5x mode, we're still not losing that box. We're just going to lose a little bit of information in the rocks and the ground underneath. But we do have what's called the crop offset as well, which allows us to move the screen up and down to make sure whatever we are cutting off, we are choosing that. I could put the rocks back in and still keep the score perfect and lose a little bit of that vertical line on the top, which is completely inessential to gameplay, but I I kind of like making sure that line's there. Maybe you don't, but you'll see that we have a great looking image. It's scaled to 5x. Everything is really nice. And if we just take a look at a different part of the game, pay attention to the grass at the bottom of the screen here. When we turn 5x off, we get two rows of grass. When we turn 5x on, that row of grass is going to go missing. And we can use the crop offset to bring some of that back if we want to. This is why I say it's subjective. You get to decide whether or not you want the grass or not. You could make sure that that item box at the top doesn't have that top bar, and you're gonna get all the information you need that the developers wanted you to see with no issues. Because the reality is, all of these games are intended to be played on CRTs, and CRTs had image behind the bezel of the television that you could not see. And designers made sure no important information went in that area to be cut off, because what you see on a CRT is not the full image. It's not like flat panels up today. But again, just playing around with it, you'll see what shows up and what disappears. At 5x, we lose a little bit of detail. At the bottom, that brick is cut in half. Does it matter if the brick's cut in half? Absolutely not. Where I like 5x mode a bit more, though, is on stuff like the Nintendo Entertainment System. Here with Mario 3, there's this giant black area at the bottom of the screen that had no visual data on it whatsoever. So if we turn 5x mode on and play around with the crop offset, we can make sure we're not losing anything at the top of the screen, even though it is just completely blue, and we can still make sure that we have all the information that we need at the bottom, what world we're in, our score, everything like that. So just play around with the crop offset. And this is the thing, you're gonna have to do this almost per game, but if we go to a crop offset of negative six, we still have the white line around that box at the bottom left. We have all the information at the top and we've gotten rid of all that black blank space that really isn't necessary. And playing Mario 3 in 5X mode is spectacular. And I definitely would say it's the way to play at least for this game. But that's the thing about the 5X mode. It is going to be completely subjective and game by game and even core by core, whether or not you think it's the right option Option for you or you don't. But like I said earlier, don't forget, if you don't want to use that INI builder that I'll link below, you can just switch your resolution in the INI setting under scripts on Mister. Just make sure all the settings I mentioned earlier are correct. Go ahead and save them and you can do it that way too. It's just two different options to achieve the same result. The Mega Drive or Sega Genesis Core also allows for 5X mode, and I think this is another instance in which there's not really much going on at the top and the bottom of Pulsar here, so it doesn't really matter, and it's actually Pulse Man, not Pulsar, we're just playing Neo Geo, so forgive me on that one. And as we move forward with 5X mode, again, it's a beautiful, spectacular image, and we aren't missing anything that is important. And that's the great thing about 5X mode, is generally, whatever it's cropping, you don't need to see. It was really never intended to be seen, but take a look at the top Top right of the screen there and you'll see that bar that little platform is cut out we can still see it we know it's still there but is it a big deal not too much now the one core in which i determined that i didn't particularly like 5x mode is neo geo and that may just be me loving the neo geo and understanding kind of what it's supposed to look like but in 5x mode here you'll see the credits on the bottom are cut off now we can deal with that on the vertical offset if we just go in and move the screen up a little bit because we have some blank area above the character pictures there but the thing is, there's so much amazing sprite work, background work in the King of Fighters and in Neo Geo games that I don't like losing anything because if I make the credits appear, that telephone cable on the top starts cropping off. Now it still plays incredibly well. The image still looks beautiful. This is about the best looking Neo Geo you're going to see outside of an original board with a CRT on RGB, but it might just not be my favorite because if we turn 5X mode off here in a second, you're going to see that that building at the top reappears and the second window on the right is is going to be there and that's what I like but that's how you achieve 5x mode that's what it does and you get to decide whether or not you want to use it or not if you have any questions or comments I'll leave them down below if you need help with us I'm happy to do me a huge favor hit like and subscribe and we'll be back next week with another mister video we'll have videos throughout the week as well but thanks so much for watching guys this 5x mode for you who knows bye bye